going to school, I didn't have like any, I didn't think that I would ever be an artist. So I actually studied banking and finance in school. And I even got a job. But then a few months inside the job I was like, ah, I don't think this is my this is my thing. Like I didn't feel like I was built for that like formal employment setup. And so I wanted something that would give me like freedom to like be creative with my time and what I do. And that was the closest thing to my heart. And, and just to clarify, I was really passionate about finance, doing it in school, see, 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 see. but then there is the perspective of finance when you're studying it and then there is the perspective of finance when you're actually at work. So that is what didn't add up for me. But then I feel like if you feel like the creative, like, the creative energy is calling you, just like, take the first step. Even as you are, like say, in your current job, just buy like few paints, few pencils here and there, you know, try out something and then step by step then you can grow to like become creatively free from there. So uh, I am very experimental with my art, but I think like the main inspiration for my art is usually women. Women are the, the center subjects of my work. Women and nature. And I feel like I love to capture like the woman in her element and I love how women are delicate and yet very strong and powerful and so I feel like especially the black woman I feel like I'm inspired a lot by her by the culture of the black woman hair the skin you know just the all round of woman to so say that most of my art is like geared towards inspiring the woman. So by me creating art, I want to inspire other women to also like go after their passions, go after what they love, you know, be the best versions of themselves. But then again, when someone looks at my art, I love for my art to be like, I know it would sound cliche, but like a positive force for change. Like I want you to look at my art, not just for the beauty, but because it makes you feel something, like it makes you feel, you know, like you want to be a better version of yourself. Yeah. I sell my artwork through social media and through referrals from family and friends. But then again, I'm very active in exhibitions, so I take pieces mostly to galleries and to like pop up exhibitions. Yeah, that way I get like to expand my clientele. <laughs> So uh, the perception is that like art doesn't pay, but then when someone says that art doesn't pay, I'm like, where are you directing your art? Because at the end of the day, I feel like as an artist, you need to like align yourself with people who understand the value of art and people who are ready to pay for the art. So once you find like your target market, then you can't complain about finance. So art can pay, you just need to put in the work. Thank you.